गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास हाउ यू ऑल होपफुली यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड सेफ एट होम टूडेज टॉपिक इज टाइम दैट इज रिलेटेड फ्रॉम टेक्सट बुक पेजेस टू थर्टी एट टू टू फोर्टी लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव स्टूडेंट्स यू आर गोइंग टू एबल टू फाइंड जर्नी टाइम अराइवल टाइम एंड डिपार्चर टाइम अराइवल मीन्स टू रीच समवेयर डिपार्चर मीन टू लेफ्ट एनी प्लेस लेट स्टार्ट द वर्क ओपन योर टेक्सट बुक टू थर्टी एट पेज नंबर there is already solved example and these all our questions are related in a form of word problems and you can see here that is done by step by step let's start the work question number 1 is during a weekend mary spent 1 hour 45 minutes on playing and 1 hour 20 minutes on studying she spent 25 minutes less practicing on the piano than studying how long did mary spend on playing studying and practicing on the piano all together during the weekend now we are going to start the solution in step 1 you can see find the total time spent on playing and studying hours you are going to write on the hour sides minutes you are going to write on the minute sides okay after that you can see when you add answer is 2 hour and 65 minutes everyone knows 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes so 65 minutes is equal to 1 hour and 5 minute you can see in the bubble it is explained and this 1 hour you will add in 2 then answer is 3 hour and 5 minutes total time of two things in step 2 we are going to be find time on practicing piano first of all 1 hour and 20 minutes is equal to 80 minutes 80 minutes minus 25 minutes because 25 minutes less practicing on piano than the study so answer is 55 minutes is only spending on the piano in the last step in question number 3 uh, step number 3 find the total time spent on playing studying and practicing on the piano when you add all 3 hour 5 minutes plus 55 minutes is equal to 3 hour and 60 minutes as you know 60 is equal to 1 hour so you can say 4 hour mary spent a total of 4 hour on playing studying and practicing on the piano during the weekend okay guys <clears throat> after that i am having another question on next page 239 it's already example you can see i want to read for you question number 2 <clears throat> jimmy jimmy traveled from singapore to beijing via shimen by air the plane left shanghai airport at 020 It took four hour and forty minutes to arrive at Shimen. Thirty five minutes later, the plane continued the journey, and it took another one hour and ten minutes to arrive at Beijing. What time did the plane arrive at Beijing? We are doing step wise, and we are using this time timeline. We are just adding hours in the form of timeline. We are not going to make the sum. Okay, in step one, you can see the train. Jimmy uh, traveled from Singapore to Beijing wa via examined by air the plane it's at 020 and you will add uh, the journey will take 4 hour and 20 40 minutes and when you add 4 hour in it it is 420 you can see the arrow finished here after that you are going to add 40 minutes and answer is 5 zero zero at five zero zero the plane arrived at Shimen. After that, there will be a rest of thirty five minutes. Okay, there because uh, after thirty five minutes later, the next journey will be start. So you can say it's a rest time five or plus thirty five minutes. It's five thirty five. At five thirty five, the plane left Shimen and start the in the journey. and in this time the journey took 1 hour and 10 minutes now when you are going to be add 1 hour 10 minutes step wise you can see in the step 3 first arrow shows 1 hour it is at 635 and then add minutes in 10 minutes in it it is 645 the plane arrived at beijing at 645 hopefully you have cleared this question this question is done by the help of lines timelines after this i am having some exercises question and i am going to explain you you have to do this question these two questions on your notebook okay let's start the work textbook page 240 question number 2 peter traveled overseas by air the plane left lahore airport at 615 the whole journey took 7 hour and 40 minutes 
at what time did P Peter arrive at the destination okay you can see I have done your solution for you people you can also after understanding write down the same question answer on your notebooks okay you are going to make a sum plane left airport 6 or 15 minutes separately write or n minutes and separately add them journey time is 7 hour and 40 minutes plane arrive arrival time when you add it is minutes it's 55 and when you add or it is 13 you can say that Peter arrive at its destination at 1355 okay guys hopefully it is clear to you people now move on the next question this is question number three on the same page 240 okay I want to read your question question number three is during a weekend John spent three hour and 40 minutes doing his homework 55 minutes watching television if he spent 35 minutes more suffering surfing the internet than watching television how much time did he spend on three activities one by one we are going to find like you can see in the solution homework time is given clearly so you are going to write in first statement watching television time is 55 minutes you will also write after that find out time surfing on the internet that is 35 minutes more than watching television so add 55 plus 35 answer is 90 minutes everyone knows 90 minute means 1 hour and 30 minutes because 1 hour is equal to 60 okay guys after this we are going to find total time and john spending on the three activities now make a sum write all minutes 3 hour 40 minutes homework time and then 55 minutes watching television time 1 hour 30 minutes and then add them you can see answer is 4 125 4 hour 125 minutes 125 minutes is more than 1 hour so you can see that say that 125 minutes is equal to 2 hour and 5 minutes because 1 hour is equal to 60 so that total time is 6 hour and 5 minutes these two are you will be added in four then answer is six hour and five minute total time that is spending on these three activities okay guys this is time to assign you some homework question number one on notebook or textbook page 240 exercise page you have to do on the notebook if you need a help to complete this task you can take a help from the solved examples of your textbook plus uh, question number two and three we have done in a classwork okay hopefully you will complete your task on the proper times on the proper time